As you know, all the planets in the solar system spin on their own axes, as well as revolving around the Sun. The Sun also rotates about its axis. This rotation was first detected by Galileo in the early 1600s. He observed the motion of sunspots across the Sun's disk over time. The Sun has a powerful magnetic field which, like Earth's magnetic field, has a North Pole and a South Pole. But the Sun's magnetic field is more disorganized than Earth's. There are large variations in magnetic forces across the surface. Sunspots are areas of particularly strong magnetic forces on the Sun's surface. About every 11 years, the Sun's poles flip, the North Pole becomes the South Pole and vice versa. This phenomenon is called the solar cycle. When the solar cycle is at a maximum, the number of sunspots also reaches a peak. Sunspots may last from a few days to a few months before eventually decaying. They appear darker than their surroundings because they're cooler. Because the sun is a ball of ionized gas, a plasma, it doesn't rotate rigidly. As well as rotating on its axis, the Sun also revolves around the center of our galaxy every 225 to 250 million years, a period known as a galactic or cosmic year. Since it formed, the Sun has made 18 trips around the center of the galaxy, so that it's 18 galactic years old. Besides its axial and rotational movements, the Sun moves in a third way due to the gravitational pull of the planets. In fact, all the bodies in the solar system rotate around the common center of mass, known as the barycenter. The Sun constitutes 99.8% of all mass in the solar system, so the barycenter of the solar system is very close to the center of the Sun, but not exactly at the center. The Sun rotates around the barycenter of the solar system, and so it wobbles as it spins around. Also, since the planets rotate around the Sun, the barycenter of the solar system constantly changes. Astronomers can use this kind of wobbling motion around a barycenter to detect exoplanets. If they observe a star that's wobbling as it moves along, it's a sure sign that there's at least one unseen object that's in orbit around it. 